um if the richest man is the richest in the world does that mean earth is the richest planet in the universe uh it depends on what reason well i mean we we are run by idiot billionaires and everything we still we still are being influenced by fucking billionaires millionaires everyone every like the cyber truck is rusted it basically elon musk running twitter and then, you know i'm afraid you're a billionaire no one cares about your opinion you're a you're a loser like when you're a billionaire you're either a loser or you're a pedophile there's no in between um that, like uh, why is this the angle you've taken this uh, like, like, we don't don't need to fucking talk about this mate you got you remember the other day when someone's like why are you talking about politics it's wrestling you're here for our q a we don't need this uninjured so, sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i just I don't know, okay, I don't know. I, I Ask, continue, okay, continue. <laughs> There's a question about being rich. Have you ever tried Japanese food? Yes. Uh, I guess. I have. Not, I did not, like, too closely. Never really tried, uh... Actually, Japanese, I'm not just fucking a fan. I tried sushi. Yeah, sushi. I enjoyed sushi. Um... Sushi was, uh, it was all right. I didn't like it. Didn't like I tried the, oh, what's the, like, there's a little snack, which is, like, it kind of looks like a macaroon, but it's kind of, like, jelly. Oh, moon. No. Um, is it the ice cream moon? Like, no, no, it's like this, uh, um, what do you, oh, it doesn't matter that but it's 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 like a little like sweet treat where you bite into it like kind of nice little sweet doughy type thing uh they were tasty i think those i think those are japanese but I think, yeah the old the old curse of being an idiotic west maybe i'm being ignorant who the fuck knows but not really i'd be able to try some but never really had the experience got the experience of stubbed toe just if, I don't know. It's just the comment feel. If it, it's a bit too vivid for me, like I, I don't want someone to imagine me stubbing my feet personally. I, I not, don't not with some of the questions, in my opinion. So. Uh, I just uh, don't understand why, like, bro, people are obsessed with their feet. Like, um, ask you know, I thought they're fucking ugly. I, 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 I blanked it out. He does. Uh, you know, the icy, icy ass. I thought. Uh, yeah, I would say not going to be answering the feet question. You know, let's just keep it obscure. Uh, what advice can you give someone that that wants to create a YouTube channel based on these standards? Uh, consistency, really. Consistency and try. Uh, I'm not saying every standard has to be a food cool but uh, not. Well, to... It depends what you want to do. I think if you want to make a podcast, it'll take time to grow, and it won't be nearly as kind of openly successful as if you have like a certain niche that you feel like talking Wolford make theory videos and that kind of blows up and that's perfectly fine we couldn't do that it's not something we can do uh, well, I can do but and soap study makes these really interesting videos kind of discussing like the characters on like the cultural impact and legacy and like the impact on the show that's obviously not something we've been able to market either like they can't really do that so um, just the advice is just keep it going. I think there's a clear lack of content in the standard space. I don't know how to make yourself distinct, but that's something to really look forward to because I don't know. I feel like I feel like we have the niche on like just being like essentially like football pundit with these standards by ramping up the opinion to ten and just kind of being ah oh, this fucking I love it. Um, but you know, just being that kind of like slightly more controversial but still i think it's just figure out your strengths honestly i'll honestly like if you uh i'm not gonna talk to the man but we watched a video of someone talk very senior theory uh but y'all probably know it by now and like i could t- i'm not being mean to them but i could tell there was no um in their voice they were just they were giving their opinion but it I don't want to watch giving their opinion. I want who is going to ham it up. Like, I don't want them going, no, no. Yeah. Bit, bit rude, like, bit rude. But, I, I uh, want some so, going, it's someone's first attempt. Like, 
I don't. I, like, I know, this but... isn't this isn't what to say, and someone saying, "Oh, let's start a YouTube channel." Well, uh, one of their first videos they probably ever made. You're fucking shit, <laughs> and I don't fucking like to watch it. Yeah, all right, this isn't fucking good, is it? No, look, you gotta start somewhere. No, we no, started I... terribly. I know, but we all gotta start somewhere. But my only criticism is when you when you start eventually grow a character where you can where you can ro ramp up your opinions to the ten. Because again, no one wants to see like, for your first few ones, people don't mind a hello, super Danny bro. Yeah, I'm good. Pay for marriage. Like, yeah, that's fine for a few months. But if that's your thing for the entire year, and then another year, then another year, then another year, uh, I feel like you have to grow and adapt. Like we did. I I was that guy at the start, and now I'm still loud mouthed, and I currently am talking loud. And you have to, you have to like adapt. That's my only criticism. I, yeah, I think it's just you have to build. Yeah, and like again, not to, to, to disrespect the guy who did that this theory video. I appreciate. <clears> I agree. I just making it more specific now as well. I, Fucking hell. Uh, I, I, you, you did great work, but like again, I could just, uh, I had a few critiques, and I'm just, uh, I'm just a silly knockhead from Ireland. But also, don't get a shaky camera where it's just up and down on your face. But yeah, it's a. Essentially, figure out your strength and play to your strength. You know, like it, like our channel wouldn't be as successful if we were just a shit copy of what you know, talking will but because ultimately their strengths are storyline and kind of figuring out how they like to. Um, so it's just know your strength and know how to play. Obviously, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just suggest like just trying it, just trying it, see how it feels. If you get into the knack of it, you'll have a lot of good fun. But, like, find a friend if you're not as confident by yourself. Um, the our product a lot more interesting because it's not just me. Um, but yeah, and I even say I wouldn't even say take advice from us. We're just we're we're barely successful. We're just still here, essentially. Yeah, just don't take my opinion seriously. But if you did want a few particular how to like prove your can ramp up your car and I don't get a shaky camera because no one wants to have feel like they're they're having an earthquake. Like looking at your video, it's all right for the first few videos, but if you're every video up and down, up and down, you know, it comes on what like I've experienced with that. My my webcam being so shit, and then Ash telling me every every time after the after the video comes, hey, your camera so shit. Then I eventually upgrade, and then my PC, my laptop. Ah. Yeah, I'm just trying to create a nice little product. Yeah, it's uh only do something you're comfortable with, or if you're not comfortable with it, just be prepared to learn and adapt and figure out what works best for you. Because you know we spent like what like eight months with like no cameras or, and I feel like beyond a certain point, like not even doing like daily videos, I feel like it's a big undertaking in the beginning. But I would honestly say probably do. A lot more like releases of videos is harder to grow with less videos and just remember that the first till you get a dedicated audience like don't really don't really look at the stats because the stats just aren't going to be favorable like like oh this video has been averagely watched for 20 seconds and it's like, oh well great no one actually heard any of my opinions then you know so <laughs> it's just it's one of those things where you have to you have to adapt as it goes along and I feel like what we've been doing for now the longest period of time is working the best. So that will continue to do. But, you know, just try it. Uh, there's not that many content creators in the EastEnders space. So, look, chance you could become one of the fucking, yeah. one of the ones. And, you know, we, we're helpful if people wanted our advice specifically, wanted us to watch a video and see what we thought. Like, do it. No, we're not fucking egomaniacs. Um. Uh, would you ever consider doing live stream Q and A's? I mean, yeah, there's a chance. It's just I think people enjoy the more edited fashion. I, I don't know if people want the full fucking Bye. experience of everything. When do you think the? Don't don't know. Don't know when the Baltimore Bridge will be repaired. It was a shame that it happened. I don't know what but, happened to uh, the Baltimore Bridge. Well, it, it 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 collapsed because I think the a ship. Not into it, but don't know enough to actually comment. Really. Ah, well. Uh, oh, that's 
What's your favorite EastEnders anniversary special? Uh, probably the Who Killed Lucy stuff. And just and just the, the 35th anniversary, honestly. Or the 30th. The, the 30th anniversary, not the 35th. The 35th was fucking Yeah, that 2015 one, essentially. I don't really, I don't have an opinion on this. I haven't seen any anniversary special. The only one I can recommend is for King Beal getting knocked out by the I think a wash machine and ending up in an alternative universe where like Cindy's alive, Pat Buster's alive, and he's just seen all the ghosts of the past that, that, that can actually appear. And it's a great video. It, it was for children in need. Uh, if you'd be one EastEnders character, who would it be and why? Um, the character who manages to not just have a shit life and is generally still happy. Uh, oh. Enzo. He's still struggling. Yolanda. Getting filled up with that. Um, I don't know, honestly. I don't fuck. I feel like I'd just be Freddy Slater or something. He's See, obviously had a shit of life, but he still has his. I, I, I'd, I'd be, I'd be Anna. Fuck it. Be great. I have, uh, I have four characters. I would be. Two of them are animals. Two of them are people. I would be for the animals. I would either be Tyson or Billy. I sound as like your own. You know, you cut you, 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 you shit behind the couch and all. Ah, Johnny, Johnny Will. Um. Uh, the other one I'd be, ta I'd be the pastor just because of his voice, and apparently he's not a nice person, but I like his voice, so I'd be him, or I'd be Dick fucking though, because, like, who does not want to be that old granny, but I know she's not old, but who doesn't want to be that old granny just going around, like, causing chaos, like, Pat Slater died, and, like, then it ends up in an argument, and then, like, the, the other one where, like, she thought that uh, someone was beating up Sonia. So they went next door and she just grabbed the man and what are you doing? And then and then she had song to give birth on the couch oh, it's great. Also like also Oh, I'll I'd, I'd be Lou Beal, mate. Fucking hell, imagine that. Imagine how fucking you, you'd just be wired for chaos. Lou Beal's a great shout, honestly. Lou Beal's probably been there for years, but again she's one of the few people who went, Ah, oh, wouldn't be great. Also we'll be dirty dead. Just to see what life would be like. Um next question. Uh, also, is this from? This is from. Oh, that is really small. Lord. BCFC Fan TV. Um, what made you want to make YouTube videos? Uh, we've just been. I've been doing them on and off for years. I've been mostly a Twitch streamer, but I wanted to kind of break out from what I was doing on Twitch and then wanted to make YouTube videos and then tackled with it. And then obviously Piggy came to me saying, do a Nintendo podcast. And I went, sure. One of the biggest regrets of my life. <laughs> I'm a man. Uh, sorry, it, it didn't mean. But yeah, uh, what made us want to do YouTube videos? I go uh, crack to hang out with a mate, do video. Yeah, exactly. It does turn into work sometimes, but like, sometimes it just pulls me aside. <laughs> Throwing it down bad. Yeah, fucking sort it out, mate. Um, but yeah, it's just and as I said before, it was uh, it was good to have a place where I could just talk about folks as it is something i do love and i have been watching them for years and i'll continue to watch them so it's nice to have that outlet where now i actually feel like i can talk about serious stuff that is happening in soap and people actually be like yeah good good take mate you know good opinion i'm like yes finally I'm getting the, i'm getting the respect i deserve i'm getting the high um if you could watch one eastenders episode for the rest of your life what would it be and why uh, it would be the episode where Ian and Elvin have to watch Willie the Pug because Willie is a fucking prick and he keeps causing a mess and like it just he just he just makes the fucking mess everywhere. It's great. I need to. It's see a fantastic episode in Clash of East Enders. I need to see that one. It's uh, it's the perfect comic relief, honestly. Um. What one would I watch for the fact of what I yeah, I, I should already know. It'd be the it'd be the Christmas special from twenty eighteen. Because of the Alfie Moon. I, I thought you were gonna say two thousand and four oh, or three. What, or whatever one? one we watched. The where, wedding one. 
the wedding and then packed it in a gritty at the end. It like. would either be between that one or 2018 because of that. Uh, it, I know, I know 2018. I know we, we the date is there, but it is just. I mean, you, you have. <laughs> I, I have. I have. I Every have. single time. But like, uh, yeah, just just for a bad boy, as you know. Um. But, uh... Yeah, no, I it would either be the the Willy the we need to watch Willy the Pug episode or twenty eighteen or something. Two thousand eight Christmas because it was good. Um Uh would you bring a third person onto the channel? No. Yeah, probably not. Like I said, we know we like you know, like like we, we, we kind of we, we asked Talking Wolford at some point if they would ever be interested in doing something like it, but they um like I wouldn't be super against it, but it, you you would have to work instantly. You know, it would be a bit of a weird one. But you know, if we ever find that person, sure. But it's kind of I can imagine that as a basis, likely just be me and Piggy for the foreseeable. Um, like like unless I wanted to do like a Hollyoak podcast or some shit or a Cory show, like then I'd obviously bring someone up. Piggy, don't watch Hollyoak. Um. Shag, marry, kill, male slash female. Max, Phil, and Ian. Um, I mean, I feel like... I don't think... I think Max somehow has a better track record in marriages than Phil and Ian, which is quite impressive. But I'd obviously shag Max, because who, who has him? I'd marry Phil, and I'd kill Ian. I'd marry Ian, I'd shag Phil, and sadly, Max is be kept. Because shagging Phil, like, it's, it's a great experience because, like, it's literally in, out, in, out, done. If you have the last one, you don't have to enjoy it. He's just, he's just going to go, I think the best ride of my life. And then Ian, obviously, is just stuck. Oh, he's a gullible chap. Yeah. Um, the force after two weeks. Drag, marry, kill, Stacey, Sharon, and Linda. I mean, I'm I'm killing Linda. Sorry, boy. Killing Linda. <laughs> I'm killing Linda. Like every like people like Linda now because she's like been fleshed out a lot more, and Elaine has become who Linda was. Uh, but fuck me, for watching 2014 reminds us why Linda was one of the least liked book characters ever. Um. Uh. I shag Stacy and Kit. Yeah, I yeah I do agree. I feel like I I would have to I'd shag Stacy and I'd marry Sharon. Well, yeah. I just like Sharon's a queen. Like fucking, she lives the good life, all right. And like, Stacy's great. Love Stacy, but I don't have the bottle to get yelled at every fucking time I fuck up. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't. I'm sorry. I know. I know Stacy's a bit of vanilla, vanilla woman. So is Sharon. But like, you could definitely bring out dominant side of Stacy. I'm just telling you that one. She yells at you. Oh, hey, hey, you'd be having fun for a week, Stacy. Who's your mommy? Oh, oh you, 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 you are. Oh, put this on. No, don't put the diaper on. Put the diaper on. Uh, take a photo. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I suppose just yeah, it would. Ha you'd have to marry Sharon. I'd just, I'd just, I'd try and give Sharon the best life possible because she's had such a shit life. She has such a shit track record of men. But I don't know. It, it's like fifty-fifty between Sharon and Stacey. I feel like. I feel like Stacy would ruin your life, but you'd still be like having a good time. But I feel like Sharon would fucking just get fed up of you pretty quickly. I just think of the guy going, "I need a sugar baby." No, I'm just thinking like that, like Stacy's sugar baby. Um, who's your favorite murderer slash murder storyline? Any extenders? <sighs> I mean, I'm somehow just forgetting all the murderer storylines and extenders at this point. I don't actually like Janine, I guess, is probably my answer. Yeah, no, sorry, I'm gonna I like on. Lucas is up there as well. Um I suppose Nick killed a couple of people. Janine, Chrissy, I guess. Yeah, I guess it I guess it comes down to Lucas. Comes down to Grey. Uh probably Pat. Yeah, so I guess I guess the murderers would be Gray, uh, Lucas, and Ben, uh, Nick, 
I guess. Daisy's mine. Yeah, no, she has indeed murdered someone. Uh, probably yeah. Linda as well, as a key owner, because Keanu. Yeah, but I guess it just, I guess it is a favourite murder story. The most favourite murder storyline is Keanu yeah, with Christmas. But I enjoy the Lucas stuff. I enjoyed the Grey stuff in bits, but not all of it. It was fucking miserable by the end. I just kind of just realised how... I, Coronation Street has the famous Richard Hillman stuff, which is probably the definitive best soap murderer. Um, but, yeah, I, unless I'm forgetting any, like, key ones, I might be. Like... I guess Johnny Allen was involved in a bunch of them. I don't know. But I guess I'll I'll settle on uh, Janine. Questions to ask. Also, thank you for all your questions. Do you ever grow your hair longer? Uh, I mean, Figgy's hair is pretty long at this point. Um, kind of look like the girl from the ring. Um, I I I've kind of plateaued with my hair length. I'm no longer wanting it to be super long like e even this is kind of pushing it for me at this point i don't really want like i want my hair long enough that it can kind of all go to one side and there's a bit of volume but i don't want it too long where it's just like hello here's my thin hair I not the way i want to do it personally um but i have in the past there was a past i had like some like kind of like bob cut hair length but yeah it's not really uh I'm 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 out of that spot. I even need a haircut now. So, uh, what would you do if you had hair that could plug into things and power it? Uh, I I'd, I'd do it. Yeah. Would you ever have the real Phil on your show, as in Steve McFadden? Of course. I he wouldn't do it, but he fucking great. Dude. Unless we become millionaires, we would have to pay Phil about a fat check. It, it would be great to have a fucking conversation with him and ask him about you know, the Phil character and how he feels it's gone over the years and why he's still there, you know, does he have anything to prove still? Uh, have you ever woke up from your sleep after having a weird dream? I mean, yeah, of course. I feel like we all have weird dreams. I don't have any, like, on the top of my brain right now. But, uh, yes. What you... Not answering. What is your shoe size? Not... Size 10. I'm not answering that question. I'll give you my I can't say the intentions are all gonna be honest, right? Uh, I'm not answering that question. Too personal. Do you think there needs to be more teenagers added to his senders? Uh, I mean, kind of. Not really. I think the current crop of teenagers is all pretty good. Like you have Nugget, Denzel, Amy, Lily, the rookie shit. There. You have Will. You have Janet still. Um. No, no, I'd, I'd say, yeah, and you have Bavani as well. You have a pretty decent crop of teenagers in the cast. I don't think they have any more, in my opinion, uh, because these ones are actually being fleshed out rather than some of the previous generations who never. And there we are. That's questions. Of thank you, Rocky. Thank you, Ro Ro Rocky Zenright. Thank you for your questions. Uh, question. Are you planning to make longer videos? Uh, not particularly, I think. Unless we go the other way and we just start making longer content, like I think we've kind of figured out our length. We're no longer doing videos for like an hour or like fucking back or fucking child. Figured out our length. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> Penis. Great, great. I'm done. God, the fucking uh, that, that's the highbrow comedy we're saying. Um, no, nah, I think we're kind of, unless there's like a big video, like a tier list, like the tier list will always be long, and, but nah, I don't think we'll be making much longer videos, like, we are mostly just doing lit service, but at some point we don't need to spend 40 minutes talking about one Reddit, 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 like, but I will say the podcasts have been much longer since we did start talking about the actual extent, because you should get to the half an hour and then speak, like, half an hour to an hour more. So, probably not, but what did it take to get Piggy talking in Chinese? Uh, I got a spice bag there, Lord. Thanks. Classic. Are you feeling better? Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. Um, I don't think I don't think we were feeling particularly bad at all, but the week off was useful to be a big, like, refresher. 
Um, so, yeah, I'd say we're doing great, all right? Uh, is there anything you don't like about modern TV? Uh, I don't really have any issues with it. One thing that would be cooler is that, I've, I don't know, it, it's just generally about the difference of time, where obviously there's so much other shit to be doing that no one really sits down and, like, no one really sits down to watch about four hours of TV in a night anymore. There's usually like, ah, oh, fuck it, then I'll watch some YouTube and play some games. I think it would be just cooler to have that, like, desire of must-see TV. Um, and it would be cool if we actually had to adhere to, like, a schedule. Be like, all right, you watch this at half seven, and then fucking Corey's on for an hour afterward. Watch Emma Day. Like, it's now, like, obviously I like it because we get the option of choosing to not do this sort of thing. But it would be cooler if it actually meant more when there was much less to be doing. Um, but I don't really have any problem. I'm sure some people complain about writing and openism of characters and all that shit, but I just tend to turn my fucking brain off when people start talking like that. Uh, is there ever a fish that made you smile? The fish that you wish? Easy. Oh, there, um, there's a, there, there, there's a, a fish, um, uh, I know you're going to say it's a crab, but there's a fish called Howie the Crab, and they go over to their grandma's house, uh, the, the, the Howie's mother does, uh, the, the human stuff, and they basically see this fish, and it's a fat fish, this fish is basically the fish. I, oh, I, oh. I like how, I like how Piggy always likes to find fat pets to look at. I think they're so funny and they're fat. Alright. <laughs> so what, 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 what if people looked at you like that, Piggy? People do, as people do. Yeah. Um. So yeah, thank you for the question, Effie Sakura. Sakura. Um. Ash, are you a pilot? You look handsome. Look handsome. Uh. Thank you, Erin Wonderlands. I'm not a pilot. No, I am legally you. Um. <laughs> Boot. Is there anything you wish to see for the future of your Discord? Uh, it's probably some people who actually know how to run a Discord, <laughs> not us. Uh, like, yeah, we're not, it's not, it's not our, like, first interest, really. Like, it's just something to have. And it's always lovely to see people in there, but also, it's never going to be our fucking purpose. Um, have you considered moderators to support you, too? Uh, I mean, maybe, but I don't really think we have any, like, regular that we could really... It just feels a bit bad to just be like, you are now mod. Like, you know, how much do we know any of the viewers? How much do we trust any of the viewers? Like, I don't think we're at a stage where we need people to start deleting. You know, we don't need all mod. The hall's empty half the time. Um, what advice would you give to your past self if you could go back in time? This is probably the last and most interesting question in the final scenes of this video. What advice would I give myself? Um, deal with your issue. Uh, I would probably tell myself to get Universal Credit Corp earlier, and probably tell myself to retry getting medication, uh, because those are two things that helped me sort the fucking shit out, and it wouldn't have been any problems. I uh, probably would have told myself to uh, not do leather work for as long as I did, because that really the, the most healthy environment for me um and just generally I, I just feel myself in about being autistic what this kind of means in a slight way but not in a way that i'd completely change my fucking mindset i still want to be doing all the social stuff i did all the cool stuff i wouldn't like spoil anything and i suppose obviously there's the uh, power fantasy where it's like oh if you could go back in time tell yourself anything I'd also still be giving myself some fucking, like, oh, this happens in the future. Make money off of it. <laughs> you know, fuck it, why not? Mine's going to be a bit more personal. <laughs> I even not try and hook up with random girls online. Um, death feeling are both minor. I was a minor at the time, context. Uh, you know, just that loneliness at 12 or 13. I'd probably not go through my emo stage. Also, listening to Nirvana, sending my friend quotes of Nirvana and then he sends you a picture of his talk Jesus God. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 
Um, so yeah, it's just and also like probably not say the N word as frequent. Um, when you're younger, and or or or, or just say the other N word. Um, but yeah, that's just that's just that's just what I give myself. You know, still stupid, still saying funny things. Don't worry, I will get cancelled. But we'll we'll be all here for it, and we'll all be celebrate. But yeah, that's fine. I I think I wouldn't I wouldn't give myself too much information though because I'd still let it take it full because you know I wouldn't want to like spoil a bunch of stuff like it's always it's always interesting like power fantasy where it's like oh you can go back and like with your current mind do stuff but I think the one thing that makes it more depressing is realizing that I'm gonna be covering East Enders in twenty twenty three no the the thing is probably depressing is knowing that like you have to sit through all this stuff. And yeah, sure, it's a second chance. Easy. You 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 depressed the first. What the hell is gonna fucking get through it? Like you know, it's like yeah, sure, it's a cool idea and it's always fun, but yeah. I I I I'm just gonna make this joke, but imagine just go back in time saying go look at your your dad's gonna die. Like imagine just going back in time and yet a family member you love is gonna die. Are you gonna elaborate on that? <laughs> no. 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 But yeah, I, I I would never go back in time because the problem is you don't want to fuck up your life because you, you, you have to make these mistakes and then live with these mistakes. Exactly, you learn but, from a lot of them. Well, well, unless you're a murderer, then you're not going to learn from your mistakes. But that's it. But like, yeah, but some people do. But like, yeah, it's just let the past happen and it's just to let it be. It's called uh, the Beatles. I don't know, part of the Beatles. Uh, so just let it be and let life be life and don't interrupt it. Yeah, if you interrupt it, it was so like your past mistakes that you made, you live with them. But if you go back in time and change your past mistakes, you could be living on an entirely different. You you could be sure you wouldn't feel the embarrassment. Sure you wouldn't feel you wouldn't feel left out. You wouldn't feel annoyed. But like you still your your life would change. It just wouldn't make sense. Like, it's essentially how I describe life as strange. You can make all these decisions, but at the end of the game, you have to choose between your best friend. Or an entire town. Yeah. And it's like, you could go back in time. Why would you want to save your best friend? Who you know you're going to die. Who you want to spend the rest of your life with. Like, um, so it's basically that moral where I'm like, you could go back in time and change. Oh, I shouldn't have said this to this person. I shouldn't have said that to that person. I shouldn't have punched that guy in front of me who, won- who took the last off the draw. Like, yeah, yeah, we, we all have mistakes we do uh, make. Yeah, I think it's like, if the word to go back and change a bunch of mistakes, it does kind of change everything because. You don't like, like them. ultimately, like you, you, your actions don't have consequence, and you need consequence to learn what you did wrong. Um, so, like, and life isn't really worth it without some struggle. You, know, you still need to go through things to become better and work harder and just keep motivated. If you could just say, "Oh fuck, I'm changing everything," like it's just not going to be the same, is it? It's like the the people who say, "Oh, if I if I go back in time, I'd change nine eleven. No, you fucking would. You wouldn't. You go back in time and be like, you know, who wins the Super Bowl in two thousand and one? This team, and that's what you do. Because everyone says, oh, if I go back in time, I'd save John Lennon. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Let's be honest. Oh, go back in time, kill baby. You wouldn't. You wouldn't, lad. I know you wouldn't. You'd... Yeah, we're all we're all too selfish for that. Yeah, you do something selfish. You'd be like, oh, 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 I can, uh, I can win money. I can say, I can invest in Google. Exactly. But that that's part of the fun of power fan. That would be a power fancy though. Yeah, I'd change my life and I'd I'd do a skill then like that out out motivate. Like, is that the life you really want to live? If you're not living that life currently, I was to tell you to be motivated enough to fucking do it. It like the call. Man. But yeah, cheers for that question. Uh well, the dance was celebrity or dance alone with an EastEnders character watching you. Uh I'd just start I'd just start hitting that like you know the thing where you like like do your knees back and forth. I'd do that to Phil Mitchell and see what he responds. That's what I'd do. I don't like I don't dance. I don't need to dance. I don't care about celebrity seeing me dance. Like a celebrity's not gonna dance and be like, Oh fuck me, that's so cool. It's gonna be like, What the fuck is this clown doing? Uh I dance I I I'd love to dance with Ian Beal or Lou Beal, one of the two. If Lou and an all slow dance, you know, or oh, we do the back and forth with the toys, you know, or oh, oh, spin me around, Lou Beal. Obviously, I'd be spinning Lou Beal around. Oh, 
Right. Yeah, like just 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 get given Ethel a lovely little hug, and she like does that old person like squeal of joy. Like, oh. and then Willie joins in. Oh, be great, great. Both fans of K-pop. Uh, no, no, I, and that's the question. <laughs> I listened to uh, back in the, I listened to some BTS. I think there was one called Sober, but I don't. Remember, so, or like Big Bang. I think it was Big Bang actually. Uh. But uh, it was one song that I enjoyed because a girl who I was talking to at the time liked K pop, and I went, I like K pop too. So I'll like that. Yeah. Never kept K pop personally. And the final question what you've been building to the crescendo, the ending, the final piece? You two are dating now? Question mark? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Biggie is more like a little brother. Mm. And the idea of anybody shipping us is horrifying. Like obviously we will get people who ship, and obviously I will, I will, not not every time, but rarely, I will rarely, uh, uh atone to that. Like if we're doing the fan fiction, I'll jokingly come here, come here, jokingly, but no, we're not dating. Like I'll obviously rarely tap into that, but I'm never gonna really tap into. It. But jokingly, I will like once or twice, but not like every single video going. Yeah, here's my boyfriend. <sighs> yeah, it's uh, uh is it, it, like you have to realize I'm. A, me and Ash are two different people. Like Ash, Ash wants a slow kick. Ash wants someone to hold his hand while he's watching the film. Ash wants to love. But he doesn't want to love, but that's, that's how Ash would be. He wants love. He wants... But I'm like, oh, he's fucking with me. Call me. Call me a little bit. This is that. Well, you know, Ash wouldn't. Ash can't do that. Ash is too lovable. Like, you're a little bit. Yeah, that's, it's not, not what I'm about, personally. My, all of my desires aren't really towards building or like having a relationship yeah. like the idea i have one probably not and you're gonna have any function one any of the role yeah, if it was anyone wouldn't be piggy either <laughs> like if if that if i if i took a piggy like how i talk to a partner someone would be like what the fuck why is your relationship built on but yeah no we're not dating we are basically uh, right he's basically like a little brother that's how I describe our relationship. Uh, we just want similar things. So work hard to hopefully get some of them someday. But there we are. That is the question and answer. Like the fucking set piece. That's the question and answer session that we've done for you. Uh, this will likely have been released in two parts. It will likely come up Friday and Saturday. And I hope you enjoyed this well overdue of questions and answers. I want to thank everybody for their answers. I hope you enjoyed it being on the screen again because people wanted that last time. And as a whole, uh, we'll likely the next thing we'll likely do, we'll likely do a big tier list again, and I'll probably edit it in a similar way that I did the first one. Uh, but yeah, if you want to, if you want us to do a certain tier list, tell us in the comment section. But do you have any other like closing thoughts to end off this Q and A, Piggy? Thank you for the questions and answers. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you for your support. It is interesting, but it, uh, all I'm going to say is try and keep the questions which I don't want to answer. So, well, how do you me five times? Mm. Because again, I would just be running the same sir. It's like me bringing up 2018 now. It would just be like that. Oh, oh, oh. Um, that's the only time. Um, so like I just I would uh, yeah take the question to Rich get one advice. I do advice. And like how to improve your channel and stuff. I'm not like a great person to give advice, but I'd give it of what I would think to improve on. And yeah, that's all I can say. I just thank you for the question. Thank you. We won't be doing challenge videos. We won't be doing anything like that. We'll just be doing not our normal stuff. And you can tune in if you want. You don't have to tune in. You can watch us. You don't have to watch. You can hate watch us. Just hate watching us. You give us views, which makes you stupid because you go, you guys. Are queer. Okay, thank you. You watched us for 20 seconds. Thank you. Who's the loser now? You clicked on our video. So hate watching or just normal watching. I like how I was saying that. We never, we, nobody hate watches. No, literally nobody. Scott. Nobody's ever said that. Scott. Nobody's ever fucking. No one's ever said anything like that. Yeah, yeah I know. Sake. I know, but, but just, uh, just, just that's my point. I suppose it's also just rehashing that obviously queer has been. Uh, 
it's it's no longer like a really big damning like slur. It has been reclaimed by the gays, and it's phenomenal. And I love the word. But yeah, just make that clear in case anybody's not up to date with the with the fucking term. But yeah, no solid thanks to everybody as Biggie said for asking questions. And we do appreciate everybody for hopping in. It's always lovely to see like we don't always have the most active comment section. The second the second we're like open and transparent and honest about our plans and what we're doing, everybody's like, Oh guys, you're so so transparent and good. It's lovely to see. And it is always very nice to get a bunch of like very positive comments and just have people appreciate what we do. So I just want to thank everybody once again. And I hope this has been a well a well done questions and answers. If you want to join in for the next one, we'll do it in the next couple months. But all for now, we'll be back to normal, regularly scheduled programming. We've been watching Wolford. If you want to support us, there are links in the description where you can either join Discord, go and like a Patreon or a coffee or YouTube membership. And or to the wrestling channel, which is where you'll see a bit more, slightly more unhinged comment uh, content from us. Yes, thank you for watching. Make sure to join us in the next one. See you then. Bye bye.